We are back in the Kettle and Cord Kitchen. I'm so happy to be back here again. I have so many great recipes and products to share with you. First up, we're gonna be making a whole roasted chicken. You know when you go to the deli counter at the supermarket, they have these beautiful rotisserie chickens with gorgeous, crispy, golden skin? I'm gonna teach you how to make that at home. We're gonna begin by making the herb, garlic, and lemon mixture for the chicken. I have some fresh herbs here, some fresh basil, parsley, they smell so good and they're gonna give great flavor to the chicken. Five cloves of garlic, you can go more, you can go less, I love garlic. Now we're gonna add the juice of one lemon. I'm gonna juice this fresh. I'd love to have that fresh lemon flavor. I'm just gonna go ahead and juice it right into this blender here. And I love this because it's so easy to blend. Now I'm gonna keep the peel of the lemon and I'm gonna stuff the chicken with it so it's gonna have flavor coming from outside and inside. It's gonna be incredible. Okay, so now we're just gonna add some oil, olive oil. This is gonna combine it all together. Some salt and pepper to taste. Okay, now the secret to this recipe is this great pan. I'm gonna be putting the vegetables underneath. You can use any vegetables. And then the chicken is gonna sit right on top and get this gorgeous golden skin. I'm gonna be using colorful potatoes and carrots, but you can use anything. Go crazy with this. Whatever vegetables you have on hand that take well to roasting, go right ahead and throw them in. Now, I'm not seasoning them with anything just a drop of salt because like I said, the flavor is gonna come from the pan drippings of the chicken and they're going to taste incredible, believe me. Now I'm just gonna place this right on top. There we go. We're just going to get this great mixture all over the chicken. Now, what you wanna do is get under the skin. So we really have all those delicious herbs, the lemon and the garlic. I'm using this mixture, but this chicken is going to get such great flavor just from the roasting. You can put salt, pepper, and paprika, and it'll be delicious. I really love the flavors of the basil, lemon, and garlic. It gives it such a bright, fresh flavor, but you can use shawarma spice. You can go with rosemary and thyme. Whatever you like, go ahead and use it. Just make sure that you get it all over. As you can see here, we really, really, really got this bird covered. Now we're gonna go ahead, take those lemon peels, stick those guys in. Now we're just gonna sit this bird right up on over here. Now, if you're using a regular roasting pan, either the front of the chicken is gonna be laying on the bottom, so that part can't get nice and crispy, or the back of the chicken over here, it's just standing so nicely and upright and everything's gonna get that great, crispy skin. Now I'm just gonna make sure that the skin is covering as much as possible. You pulled off the skin a little bit to get the herbs inside, but you want the skin to cover so that the flesh will stay moist and tender. So the first time I used this roaster, I had the oven light on because I wasn't sure about the temperature and the time, I was still testing it. And one of my kids walked in and they were like, oh my gosh, what's standing in our oven? It was really funny. So we're gonna get this guy in the oven. It's been preheating at 400 for about an hour and a half. After about an hour and 15 minutes, if it's not getting that gorgeous golden color you want, you can up the temperature to 425. rest for about 10 minutes or so before I plate it or carve it because I want all the juices to get nice and settled. We're ready to plate this. We're gonna go ahead and just remove the chicken. Look how easy. And look at these gorgeous vegetables. We did absolutely nothing to them, but they got this gorgeous golden color and they're gonna taste incredible. Now what I love about this roaster is that it can be used indoors and outdoors. So the whole winter, I use this roaster in my oven, and then come spring and summer, you can totally pop this in your grill. Now, you see these pan drippings? 
Do not throw them out. This is liquid gold. It is so flavorful. I'm going to just put the extra pan drippings in this little dish over here. So whoever wants to, if they have the white meat, they can pour it over. If you have extras, if you have a ton of pan drippings, stick it in your fridge. Look at the skin on this all around. The whole thing has this incredible golden crispy skin. This is gonna have such a nice bite to it. And underneath we have this beautiful tender chicken. What I love about making a whole roasted chicken is that I have a great and hearty dinner for tonight, but if I have leftovers, I can use it in so many different variations. Remember to subscribe to know when our next videos come out because I am gonna be taking this roasted chicken and turning it into three completely different meals. Remember to hit that like button and I'll see you next time.